The way the government dithered and delayed over recent weeks meant that the Prime Minister was left with no choice but to introduce a second national lockdown. If we've learned anything since the start of this pandemic, is that the best way to control this virus is to act early and decisively. That's why I, along with many others, spent weeks urging the government to listen to the scientific advice and to introduce a short national circuit breaker when we still could. This would not only have saved lives, but enabled us to avoid the terrible economic harm that a longer national lockdown will now inevitably cause. I know many Londoners and businesses across our city will be extremely angry that the right action was not taken at the right time. I am too. But I'm certainly not going to make a political speech today. That being said, we can't varnish the truth because the fact is we've all been let down by central government and the consequences will be devastating. More lives lost, more jobs at risk and more livelihoods ruined. It's now absolutely imperative that the government doesn't repeat the same mistakes when it comes to the additional economic support that will clearly be needed. Ministers have a once in a generation responsibility to provide the public funding required to prop up our economy through this period. And as mayor, I can assure you that I'll continue to put pressure on the government to do whatever's needed. It's clear that the months and years ahead are going to be extremely tough, testing our city unlike any time since the Second World War. We don't yet know what the full extent of the economic and social impact will be on London, or how many of the changes we've seen already are temporary or represent a more permanent shift. But it's hard not to conclude that major structural change is affecting our city over a very compressed timescale. 